This is Mamado. Welcome to Mamado Classroom. Our lesson for today is about multiplying fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers. Okay, how do we multiply 2 third times 5 times 2 over 4? So this is a fraction, a whole number, and a mixed fraction. So the first thing that we need to do is to change the mixed number into improper fraction. Then, multiply both numerators and, den and multiply also the denominator. Then, express the product in simplest form or lowest term. So, the, things, the first thing that we need to do is to multiply this mixed fraction. So, we need to multiply 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. You just see, you just copy the denominator. So the answer is 9 over 4. So next. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to rename the whole number. We need to put a a denominator of 1. So remember that a whole number, it has always a denominator of 1. So we have to now to multiply 2, 5, and 9. So we have to multiply 2 times 5 is 10, times 9 is 19. And also we need also to multiply the denominator 3 times 1 and 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 4 is 12. Correct. Now, we need to uh, reduce this to lowest term. So, we have to look a common factor for 19 and 12, and that is 3. Correct? So, 90 divided by 3 is 30, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, 30 and over 4 is still not in lowest term. So we need to <laughs> change this to lowest term. So 30, we have 30 we divided by 4. So we have 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Then 30 minus 28 is 2. So the, the answer is 7, 2 over 4. But 2 and 4 still not in the lo in lowest term. So we have to look for a common factor for 2, 2 over 4. So we, uh, the common factor for this 2 over 4 is 2. Now 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the answer now is 7 and 1 half. Okay, I have another example. So we have 2 and 1 fifth times 4 over 8. So we need to change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. So we need to multiply 5 times 2 and plus 1. Then just copy the denominator. So 5 times 2 plus 1 is 11. Then copy the denominator of 5. So we can now multiply 11 by 4 and that is 44 and 5 by 8 and that is 40. So we have 44 over 40. But this one is not yet in uh, simplest form. So we need to change this to simple form. We have 44 divided by 40. So we have 1. 1 times 40 is 40. Then 44 minus 40 is 4. So the answer is 1 and 4 over 40. But, but 
4 and 40 is not yet in the lowest term so we need to get the lowest term for 4 and 40 4 over 40 so what is the lowest term for what is the common factor for 4 and 40 we have 4 so now 4 divided by 4 is 1 40 divided by 4 is 10 so the answer now is 1 and 1, 10. Correct. Okay, class, I want you to try this. I'll give you time to think and solve the problem. Your time starts now. Okay, class, let us check your work. So, we have here 4 three, oh, uh, 3 over 6 times 4 over 8. So, the first rule is to, move, uh, to change this to improper fraction four, oh no, 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 is 27 over 6 times 4 over 8 now let us multiply so 27 times 4 is what 108 over 6 times 8 is 48. So we need to change 108 and over 48 into lowest term. So we need to what? To divide 108 by 48. So how many 48 are there in 108? We have 2. 2 times 8 is 16, carry 1. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 96. So, 108 minus 96 is 12. So, our answer is 2 over uh, 12 over 48 wait so we have we have 2 2 12 over 40 a. Now, this one is not yet in the lowest term, so we still need to get the lowest term for 12 and 48. So, what is the number that can be divided by 12 and 48? Correct. 4. So, 4, you divide it by 12 is what? Okay. 4 we have 2 yes mm -hmm. also 4 so the answer is 3 and then this one is divided by 4 the answer is 12 so again we still need to get the lowest term for 3 and 12 so 3 and 12 is what we have 3 times 1 and 3 times 4 so we need to cancel this 3 over 3 and what is left is 1 4 so the answer is 2 and 1 quarts. Correct. Very good. Okay, let's answer number 2. We have 2 over 8 times 2 and 3 over 5. So we need to change this to improper fraction. 
So we have 2, two over 8 times 5 times 2 is what? 10. So 10 plus 3 is 13. So 13 So we have 13 over 5. Now let's multiply. 13 times 2 is what? 13 times 2 is... Twenty-six. And then, five times eight is forty, or eight times five is forty. So, what are the common factor for twenty-six and forty? We have two. So, we need to divide this two by two. So. 26 divided by 2 is 13 and then 40 divided by 2 is 20 so your answer is correct next we have 2 and 1 6 so we multiply this that is 12 plus 1 that is 13 over 6 times 5 over 10 so we have 13 times 5 is what? 13 times 5 65 65 over 6 times 10 is 60 so we need to divide 65 by 60 to get the lowest term so 65 divide by 60 is 1 1 times 60 is 60 minus so 5 so the answer is 1 1 5 over 60 so we still need to divide 5 and 60 we have to divide it by 5 yes so 5 divided by 5 is 1 60 you divide it by 5 and that is 12 so the answer is 1 and 1, 12. Correct. Very good. This one. 4 over 5 times 7. So we need, we need to rename 7. We have to put a, a denominator of 1. Correct. Remember that. The whole number, it has a denominator of one so we will multiply four times seven is twenty eight and then five times one is five so we need to change this to lowest term so we have uh, twenty eight divided by five 28 divided by 5 is what? 8. So we have 28 by 5. Okay. 28 by 5. So we have 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 28 minus 5 is 3. So the answer is 5 and 3 over 5 correct very good next 
the same. So we have to rename 3. We have to put a denominator of 1. Then we multiply it by 6 over 7. 6, uh, 3 times 7 is 18. And then over 1 times 7 is 7. So let's multiply again. Or divide 18 divided divide by uh, 7. So we have 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Then 18 minus 14 is 4. The answer is 2, 4 over 7. Correct. Very good. Okay, class. I want you to keep in mind. To multiply fractions with whole number and a mixed number, first is to change the mixed number into improper fractions. Second, put an imaginary denominator of 1 in the whole number. Then multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators and express the product in the simplest form or lowest term. Okay class, I hope you learned something today. This is Mamado. See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.